Greetings and welcome to Torchlight 2, or rather, the introduction to a Torchlight 2 endeavour that is something a little bit different for my channel. As you can probably already work out from the title of this video, I am going to be playing and recording Torchlight 2 with a few friends, namely Sleepy Joe, Blank Door, and I Am Wolf 137. He is the 137th child of the I Am Wolf line, very, very far away from, you know, the, the main bloodline of that particular family, and I can only imagine there's a crazy amount of assassination plots amongst his siblings. He is probably safe from almost all of them, or might be instigating almost all of them, you never know. But back to Torchlight 2. Now, this is something a little bit different in the way that it's going to be recorded, specifically to try and avoid too much complexity with the way that we record with different people's perspectives and that sort of thing it's been decided that a different person will host the recording each week and by host what i mean is that it'll be a different person's responsibility each week to record the footage so you'll be seeing their perspective through that that recording set they will then render it uh, edit it upload it to their channel the rest of us will then link that uploaded video into the playlist on their own channel so for example the first videos you will see in this playlist other than this one that you're watching right now will be hosted on sleepy joe's channel you can click on them in my playlist and you'll just watch the video here but you'll be watching the the video that is hosted on sleepy joe's channel now I know that's a little bit different from the norm, but this is a somewhat of an experiment and hopefully will be quite entertaining as it'll allow you to watch the game from pe different people's perspectives without having to re-watch the same gameplay segment multiple times just on the off chance that there might have been something interesting that someone else was seeing at a specific moment. And with that said, we want to let you all know that we would welcome any feedback you might have on the way that we're hosting and organising this. As I've said, it's a bit of an experiment, so we would genuinely appreciate any feedback you could offer. Now, with how we're going to be recording out of the way, let's move on to what we're going to be recording. For those of you unfamiliar with what Torchlight 2 is, think of it as a Diablo-esque hack-and-slash action role-play game. Um, it's very loot-centric, procedurally generated dungeons or, and overland areas. There aren't actually too many dungeons in the game, it mostly takes place in the overworld of, of a sort. And while there certainly is a story that continues on from Torchlight 1, and quite a fun story at that, it's delightfully unassuming in the way it presents it. It understands that most people who play Torchlight aren't really here for epic story writing. They're mostly here to kill things, take their loot to a vendor, sell it to buy better weapons, to go kill bigger things, to take their loot to a vendor, to sell that, to get even bigger weapons, ad infinitum. And because the developers understand that, they focused a lot of their efforts on making that particular mechanic of the game as fun and as engaging as possible, and they've done a really good job of it. Torchlight 2 is a fantastic dungeon romp, as far as dungeon romps go. But if hack and slash games aren't really your thing, then Torchlight 2 is probably not going to change your mind on that. So you'll be relieved to know that this isn't a, a main let's play on my channel. It's certainly not going to be taking up a slot or, or, heaven forbid, replacing any of the games that I'm playing currently. And it won't be competing for time against things like Dwarf Fortress, Nomoria, or the eventual return of Cataclysm. Instead, this will just be appearing in addition to other games that I upload. But for those of you who are interested, then you are more than welcome to join us. Just leave your thinking cap on the stand, you won't be needing it here, as you listen to four fellows bantering while they lollop through a procedurally generated environment, smacking undead trolls with flaming axes, or possibly the butt of their poison shotgun. 